The McDonnell XV-1 was an experimental American convertiplane developed in the early 1950s to test technologies enabling vertical takeoff and landing combined with high-speed horizontal flight. Initiated under a joint research effort by the United States Air Force and United States Army, the XV-1 aimed to bridge the gap between helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft. At the time, helicopters suffered from limited speed due to rotor drag, while airplanes lacked vertical lift capabilities. The XV-1's mission was to combine the advantages of both. In 1951, the United States Air Force announced a competition to design a compound helicopter. McDonnell Aircraft responded with a concept based on their Model M28, ultimately leading to the XV-1. A letter of intent was signed on June 20, 1951, and a full-scale mock-up was ready by November. Construction began under the designation XL-25, then changed to XH-35, and finally XV-1, the first in the Class VI category for vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that were not helicopters. The XV-1 featured a tubular fuselage on skid landing gear, high-mounted stub wings, and twin tail booms with vertical fins. Its main rotor was powered by tip jets using high-pressure air from a single Continental R975-19 radial piston engine. This engine also powered a pusher propeller for forward flight. During hover, the rotor spun at 410 revolutions per minute. In cruise mode, the rotor slowed to 180 revolutions per minute and entered auto-rotation, while the wings provided most of the lift. The first prototype, Serial 53 Thor 416, flew tethered in February 1954 and achieved free hover by July. The second aircraft, 534117, included aerodynamic refinements and additional tail rotors for improved yaw control. On October 10, 1955, it became the first rotorcraft to exceed 200 miles per hour, 322 kilometers per hour, a record at the time. Despite its technological achievements, the XV-1 program was canceled in 1957 after around 600 flight hours. The Tipjet system was extremely noisy, generating cockpit noise of 116 decibels and even 90 decibels half a mile away. The complexity of the propulsion system and limited performance gains over conventional helicopters ultimately led to its termination. Advances in traditional helicopter technology soon outpaced the XV-1's hybrid concept. Today, the first XV-1 prototype resides at the United States Army Aviation Museum in Fort Novacell, Alabama. The second, record-setting prototype is displayed at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, District of Columbia. Though it never entered service, the McDonnell XV-1 was a critical step in the exploration of high-speed vertical takeoff and landing flight and laid groundwork for future tilt-rotor and compound aircraft innovations.